Hello my friends, welcome back to my channel Diamonds and Washi. My name is Katie and if you're new to my channel, hi, welcome. I hope you'll consider subscribing for lots more diamond painting content. And if you are back, welcome back. Today I'm here with the reveal and post review of one of my recently completed diamond painting kits. In these videos I love to just take a chance to show you up close in detail and from a you know more of a further back view as well what a completed diamond painting may look like from a company hopefully this gives you a sense for not just what a particular you know exact kit like this one will look like but also just a sense for what uh, this company has to offer and what their strengths are and and what you might want to gravitate towards them for. So I really love doing these videos and uh, just sharing my completed projects with you all. The one I have for you today is called Glass Mermaid. This is by Dakota Deitweiler and was licensed by Darm is licensed by Diamond Art Club and was actually just a new release last week and uh, I was sent it as a sneak peek from Diamond Art Club so thank you thank you thank you to Diamond Art Club for that and um, I as soon as I unboxed it I couldn't resist starting on it right away. So let me give you a quick breakdown of sort of the stats on this kit. So this kit is 65 by 65 centimeters and it has a total of 53 colors. It has square drills and a total of five different AB colors that are super sparkly and AB drills are called, um, they're short for Aurora Borealis drills. They have an iridescent coating that makes them extra sparkly and highlights beautifully. And those are just all throughout this whole piece my apologies like there's these these diamonds are so incredibly sparkly that even this indirect sunlight which is kind of I, my favorite way to film um, you're still gonna see some glare just because of the way that these diamonds are faceted and how sparkly they are so I'll try to make sure I give you a good look at these where you're getting a true look at the color and the finished effect and everything so um, as of the time of this filming, this kit is out of stock, but you can sign up for restock notifications on the website. It was not limited edition upon release. I, I would guess because this was highly anticipated. Dakota Deitweiler's artwork is, it tends to be pretty popular with Diamond Art Club for good reason. It's absolutely stunning. Uh, speaking of Dakota Deitweiler's artwork, when Diamond Art Club announced that they were releasing this piece, she, the artist, actually reshared on her Instagram and on her Facebook and everything um, the the original piece that she created. And you guys, this wasn't just like a canvas that she painted. She actually created this image using like four panes of glass. And so it has kind of like a three dimensional effect. It's such an incredibly beautiful effect and I'm gonna link to her post I think probably Facebook will be the easiest but I will link to that below please go and take a look it will give you such an incredible appreciation for this artwork and for the artist's talent um, but I do want to go ahead and try to show you now a little bit more of the piece and frame I had those those diamonds there so we could do a little little bit of a reveal I suppose but here we go you guys she is stunning absolutely stunning now i will because i'm not able to fit all of her in frame 65 by 65 centimeters i had in my head was just not that big of a canvas but spoiler alert it, it really kind of is <laughs> i'm gonna pop a picture up here on the screen for you so that you can see uh what this piece looks like in its entirety so such a stunner such a stunner uh so I really, really enjoyed so much about working on this piece. Uh, you can tell, I think, probably, that it is highly detailed, highly detailed. And I will tell you that that meant that this piece had so much confetti. It was pure confetti, especially, I'll tell you what, the seaweed has, I think, seven shades of green. If you include the AB, there's this really amazing green AB you can see. Kind of going throughout the seaweed um that seaweed about <laughs> turned into my nemesis it just took so long but i will tell you as much as i talk about how long confetti can take um the payoff is there like look at that incredible shading doesn't that look gorgeous also the octopus arms every single octopus arm had this purple ab you can see the outlining that extra sparkly coating there um 
I did some outlining over in this arm. You can see the green and the purple ABs. The octopus arms were really highly detailed, lots of shades of pink and purple. The coral I thought was gorgeous. There's a red AB that goes through the coral. And there's parts of this, like there's octopus arms and red coral in all different parts of the painting. <laughs> so absolutely gorgeous, but uh, yeah, <laughs> lots of confetti, you guys. Uh, and then we had some really fun elements in this piece. We had some of these beta fish and there's a blue and a white AB in the beta fish down here and all those different colors, I think made some, for some really stunning shading. Um, I really enjoyed the, the lionfish up here. I almost called it a zebra fish. It looks like a zebra, but it's called a lionfish. There aren't really um, any crazy ABs in this one, though there are some white ABs on like its, its snout, like its face, that I thought were really pretty. Um, we have a blue beta fish over here that has some, oh my gosh, yeah, those blue ABs, I can't skip over that. Um, in its scales, are so gorgeous. Again, the shading is gorgeous. There's this this like teal green, these shades of like tealish green that are over in its fin over here that are like nowhere else in the painting. And so that was really fun. This is one of the later sections that I worked on. And I was like, there's this set of colors I haven't even pulled out yet. Like it hasn't been on the canvas. And so I got to do that in here. And then of course we cannot forget our actual mermaid in here. Uh, look at the blue ABs all through her hair. Her hair is magical. Someone had asked when I, when I did, cause I, I worked on it a little bit and posted some pictures in the VIP Facebook group right before the release. Um, and some people, someone had asked, they're like, oh, how's the like sort of differentiation between her hair and the water? And I was like, honestly, like you kind of see it, like there's a little bit more white and stuff up here. But honestly, I think it's, it's not so clear cut as that. I think that even in the original artwork, her hair and the water kind of, it's nebulous. They kind of flow together. I think it's really pretty. Um, I think that the shading with all the different shades of blue in her hair give it an amazing texture and, an, and a really beautiful look overall. And I just generally think that the, the finished effect, both up close and further back, is breathtaking, especially with her hair. Because it takes up such, it's such a focal point of the piece and takes up so much of it and kind of flows throughout the whole rest of the artwork. Um, like you can even see, like there's bits of blue, like it's down here, it's weaving down here, her on her front and stuff like that. I just thought it was gorgeous. I thought it was so incredibly gorgeous. Um, one of the things that I I know some people were kind of chattering about when I had posted some pictures that I had uh, of parts that I had worked on, um, and I'm not surprised about this because looking at the original artwork, I was like, I bet that people are going to be concerned about how this translates, but I'm going to trust the process and not freak out. And I'm so glad that I did that. And that is her skin. Um, so you have to keep in mind, and I feel like you see it, like you definitely get this impression when you're looking at this artwork as a whole, especially looking at it in the context of the whole piece. It is so clear that this is rendered like there's light breaking through the surface of the water and the way that your skin looks when the, there's light playing over your skin over a surface of moving water i feel like is exactly like this and up close it looks maybe a little bit stark but diamond paintings are designed to be looked at looked at from what we call like a viewing distance where you're not supposed to be looking at it with your nose six inches from the canvas. Like it is literally like a pixel art. Um, it comes together when you step back and some companies do this better than others. I think Diamond Art Close Rendering Team did a really, really nice job of translating this because when you look at it, I feel like especially the camera really helps kind of pull it together and make sense of it in a really nice way. This completely works for me. Um, some people were like, oh no, the lines are too harsh on her face and up close or isolated, like the picture that I had posted, which was basically, I had just worked on her face. I hadn't worked on the rest of her body or most of the rest of the painting. It maybe did look a little bit harsh, but this is again, one of those things where it's okay if you don't like it, but I think it is worth it to try to trust the process and see like, okay, I want to see how this is going to look on the whole. And 
seeing all of it together like this, my brain likes it. <laughs> I think it just, it does make sense to me. And I think that the artwork does look really beautiful and that it did translate to a diamond painting. It is okay if you have personal preferences, that is not a problem, but I, I have to say as someone that I am very picky about my renderings and I, um, I know that a lot of the artwork that I gravitate towards like this artwork is probably kind of notoriously difficult to translate to a diamond painting. I still have to say that I am really in love with this and I think it turned out beautifully. I think her eye and her eyebrow, like her whole look here is striking. I think that she is staring into your soul. I think that her eye and just like, I'm, not, I'm like counting like her, the way her eyelashes are done, the way her eyebrow is done, the shading, there's like one or two ABs in the center of her eye. I feel like it is just like, it stops you in your place. It's so incredibly striking and stunning. Um, and I don't know, the whole thing works for me and I love it, I love it. Um, I'm a little unsure about her hand. Um, I, I Just because I've seen the original artwork and I'm kind of like, I, I have a hard time telling that like that's her hand, um, but it's in shadow, like it, it I think it's fine. Uh, but I just had a moment where I was like, what is this? When I was working on this, I was like, what are these colors for? And I was like, oh, it's her hand. Um, but I think again, some of that just comes with, yeah, you know, I'm looking at it again through the camera and I think it, I think it works okay. Um, so yes, we talk a lot about the different aspects of the rendering because that is easily the, the thing that I personally prioritize the most. It's what matters the most to me. It's, it's what tends to be the deal breaker for me when it comes to diamond painting kits. Um, it's totally okay if, if there are other aspects of kits that are more important to you. And so I wanna touch on some of the other things about this kit as well and what I, what I thought the quality was like. So as far as things like um, the canvas material, it's this really soft, it's like a Tar Holland blend material. It's really enjoyable to work on. It's, it's thick, but it's not like overly thick. And um, between the canvas material and the poured glue that Diamond Art Club uses, which is kind of springy, um, it's forgiving. So like if I needed to adjust my diamonds at all, uh, it, it it tolerated that, but then it also holds them really well. Like I, I don't have to worry at all about diamonds falling off and I'm not like really precious about how I handle my canvases. So that's really good. Uh, the drill quality is top, top, top notch. So, um, so uh, Diamond Art Club's square drills and like their drill field, they're constantly looking for ways to improve them. And it, it just, it never stops. They're constantly looking for ways that they can be improving. Um, their square drills are so consistent in size and shape. There were some that had like the little holes on top, but I just kind of like set those to the side. I did have plenty of each color, so I didn't run out of any colors. I was able to just use, you know, to avoid using the very few drills that did have maybe like little holes on the top. Um, their drill field also sits very tight together, very tightly together. I'm not feeling any popping whatsoever, but if you look up close, like probably in the lighter colors, it's easiest to see. Um, you can see that there is truly like virtually no gapping. Like these sit so tight and so snug. Actually, sometimes it was a little tricky um, because I feel like the ABs maybe were, maybe because of the AB coating, they were maybe just the tiniest, 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 tiniest bit bigger than the non-AB diamonds. And I, but it was so minuscule, it was almost not noticeable, but I, I did notice that I was like, ooh, yeah, these are really like snapping into place. Like it wasn't a problem, it was just an observation. Um, so you could see like no gapping, it's incredible. Now this, uh, this kit did have a lot of the diamonds that have the 26 facets on them. That's a more recent upgrade from Diamond Art Club. Uh, first they did a round of upgrades where it was like, we're going from our square diamonds having a mix of nine and 13 facets. to so now they're gonna be all 13 facets. And then like six months-ish ago, maybe a year, I think six months ago-ish, um, they're like, how about we upgrade them further and we do 26 facets on our square drills? And this kit, a lot of the colors did actually have the 26 facets. And um, I'm trying to think, again, these light colors are where it's, it's easier to see. 
but it's still tricky. They look almost like X's from a distance. Like I, when I posted a picture on Instagram the other day of the lionfish, I was like, it almost has like a cross stitch effect because it almost looks like an X <laughs> because it comes to like a, a point in a pyramid. It's just kind of the effect of it. I don't think that you have to like fret over whether or not your kit has 26 facet square drills or not. They're, they're, they're phasing them in gradually here, but it's just going to have an overall more faceted effect. They're really shiny. You could see that shine. Um, and they are pretty sparkly too. Uh, other things, the drill field was really clear to read. Um, I had plenty of drills left over. The whole like experience, the whole packaging, everything that Diamond Art Club includes and sort of what I call the usual suspects, they're all there. It's really reliable. It's really just sort of, you get this standard, really high quality, excellent experience with Diamond Art Club. And they do have a lifetime warranty on all of their kits. So if you, uh, as long as you're the original purchaser of your kit, you're covered under that lifetime warranty. So if I would have run out of any colors or if I would have had trouble with the glue or anything like that, I could have just contacted Diamond Art Club's customer service and known that they would have taken care of me. There's usually a lot of different ways that they can do that. So. Um, yeah, you guys, this is Glass Mermaid. <laughs> I'm in love. She sold out so fast at release time, you guys. So, 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 so incredibly fast. I'm not shocked. I think people are really looking forward to this particular piece. And um, I, I hope that it will be restocked soon. I don't know what Diamond Art Club's restock timelines are, but like I said, you can sign up for those back in stock email notifications um, so that you can stay up to date with when, when kits are restocked. So hopefully it'll be soon. But you guys, uh, this kit was stunning. I think that the attention to detail is so incredibly clear. I think that it's good to know going into it that you're gonna have oodles and oodles and oodles of confetti. This kit took me a week to complete, which for this size kit and the amount of hours that I spent on it, like I spent a lot, a lot of hours on it. And it did take a bit longer because it was so confetti heavy. I was doing a lot of single placing, uh, changing out the color of my tray really often, but that is not a complaint at all because I think that the, the way that the detail comes through is breathtaking and completely worth it. And I have mad respect for Diamond Art Club's rendering team who hand charts these pieces. These are not computer rendered. This was hand charted, including the AB placement and everything, which really quick, let me show you. These were our ABs. Oh, we had a red AB, like a cherry red AB 103. We had this green AB, more of like a darker olive green. It was 108. Um, 119 was a really pretty like royal purple. And then we had, there was a lot of this blue AB in her hair and lots of other places. And then 141, a white AB that's kind of Diamond Art Club's sort of classic. There's a little straggler drill in there, just ignore that. So you can see I did have every color left over. I didn't run out of anything. And these are really nice quality, so, so I'll save them. Uh, but I think I'm gonna wrap it up there, you guys. Let me know what your thoughts are. Do you like how it turned out from what you can see? Did you snag this kit for yourself? Um, and if not, are you planning on going and signing up for those restock notifications? <laughs> Thanks for joining me today. Like I said, I love doing these reviews so that I can show you guys what a completed diamond painting looks like because I know that's really, really helpful for me. And I hope that it is just as helpful for you and helps you make decisions about what kind of hits you want to get. So Diamond Art Club is a good place to go for really clean, crisp, hand rendered pieces and overall just really high quality. So um, thank you guys so much for watching. Feel free to hit the subscribe button if you want to stay up to date with all my diamond painting content uh, and leave any comments, questions, happy or snarky thoughts below. All right, my friends, have a wonderful rest of your day and I will chat with you in the next one. Bye.